The Republican Party now gearing up for the midterms and beyond. They are hoping to court Jewish voters here in South Florida who routinely vote Democrat. But the GOP leadership believes the tides are changing, and today they brought in the big guns, former Vice President Mike Pence. CBS 12's Lena Salzbank has more on his visit and what she also talked to him about in her one-on-one -on -one interview tonight. Lena. Jim, Liz, more on that interview in a moment. But the big reason why the former vice president was here in town was because the RNC is opening up its first ever Jewish community center right here in Boca. And while it's quiet out here behind me now, earlier this afternoon, it was packed here. And the crowd was extremely excited when Mr. Pence said that the Republicans would be winning back America in 2024. And hello, Florida. <laughs> A standing ovation for the former vice president who greeted the crowd at the RNC's first ever Jewish community center on North Federal Highway in Boca Raton. Today by opening this center as part of a, a movement to open community centers all across the country, we are opening the doors wide to the Republican Party. Republicans plan to open dozens of these centers around the country in hopes of turning longtime loyal Democrats. We are going to win back the Congress in 2022. We're going to re-elect Governor Ron DeSantis in 2022, and we're going to win back America. Jewish voters have long been in the back pocket of the Democratic Party, but Republicans are hoping to change that. We take a strong stand for religious liberty, and we denounce anti-Semitism in all of its forms. During our one-on-one -on -one interview, we also asked Mr. Pence about reports. He might be asked to return to Washington to testify. Now that a year has has passed. What are your feelings about January 6th, and are you considering, uh, you know, going in front of the committee? January 6th was a tragic day, and I know there's been much debate about my role among some, but but I know we did our duty that day. Uh, I, I know that we did right uh, to uphold the language of the Constitution of the United States. We'll certainly consider any requests that would come in uh, from the committee uh, or from others. President Donald Trump has been flirting with the idea of making a run in 2024, but he has made it clear that you wouldn't be on that ticket. Now, looking at your schedule, you've been to Iowa and New Hampshire, and you're also, I think, planning a trip to South Carolina. Does that mean that you're possibly thinking of running in 2024 as well? You know, all of my focus right now, like here in Florida today, is on making sure we're doing everything necessary to elect and, and re-elect strong conservative leadership all across this country. I think it's important that we, we re-elect great governors around the country, that we send Ron DeSantis back to the State House here in Florida. Mr. Pence is not sitting on the sidelines. He's traveling to other cities, and he tells me that he's going to continue promoting and supporting all the, all the other Republican candidates up until the November election. In Boca Raton, Lena Salzbank, CBS 12 News.